On the 25th of July 2000, Air France Flight 4590, a Concorde aircraft crashed shortly after takeoff, killing all 109 people on board and four on the ground. It was the only fatal Concorde accident during its 27-year operational history. During takeoff, the aircraft ran over FOD on the runway, causing a tire to explode and disintegrate, resulting in fuel line rupture and fire. Today, modern air forces and airlines have the most technically advanced aircraft. But, they can all be easily grounded by FOD. The acronym FOD has two interrelated meanings, foreign object debris and foreign object damage. FOD is any object that does not belong in or near aircraft or any object found in an inappropriate location, such as tools, locking wires, washes, screws, nuts or bolts. Even birds and wildlife are also included in FOD. FOD can cause jammed flight or engine controls, shred fan blades when sucked into a turbojet engine, blow out tires at high speed. This damage often leads to aircraft crash. Damage caused by FOD costs millions of dollars every year. In military it affects national security by reducing mission capability. Careful analysis shows that major contributors of FOD incidents are poor housekeeping and work practices, poor tools control, poor maintenance of buildings and operating surfaces, movement of vehicles on the airfield, ineffective FOD control management. Strategy to prevent FOD. First of all, accept the fact that FOD is preventable. Therefore, management should own this task. Implement an effective FOD prevention program. Create awareness about FOD and its effect on operational readiness. Identify FOD critical areas on the airfield. At maintenance work centers. Practice good housekeeping, clean as you go. Check personal equipment before engines start. Account for all tools, hardware and equipment. Establish designated storage areas for equipment. Check inside the intakes and around the aircraft for FOD. As maintenance technician, wear proper clothing when working on aircraft. Follow maintenance procedures or TOs. Use prescribed tools for maintenance. Conduct FOD inspection after maintenance. Put loose safety wires and rags in a bag. Use FOD containers at flight lines. On the airfield area, check condition and cleanliness of runway and taxiway. Repair deteriorating surfaces. Check entrance to flight lines for loose FOD. Educate drivers to be conscious of FOD potential. Everybody should pick up FOD. Keep sufficient space between formations. Use minimum RPM during ground ops. Management must appoint someone as manager FOD program. He should ensure that all personnel actively participate in FOD prevention. Perform all maintenance by the book. Account for all tools at the end of each activity. He should also ensure that all tools are marked and FOD containers are regularly checked. The FOD prevention program must include regular FOD walks. Use of mechanical sweeping equipment. Domestic garbage disposal plan. Effective tool control plan. FOD reporting and notification procedure. Regular FOD briefs and display of posters. Please remember, FOD can kill. Therefore, as a responsible member of the team, you, yes, only you, can prevent foreign object damage. To fly safe. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel for more safety videos.